Hey, what is up, everybody? Jayon's back with another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tier list. I've been enjoying all the comments, all the likes, and all the subscriptions you guys have been giving me lately. It really helps the channel grow a ton. Thank you so much. If you guys have any suggestions, always feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. And I have done a cover of MGK's I Think I'm Okay very, very recently. I will leave that in the description down below as well if you guys want to go check that out. Really appreciate that as well. Today, I bring you a rock guitarist tier list, which is near and dear to me because I started playing guitar when I was 16, my very first instrument ever. And I love rock music, so let's get right into it. All right, guys. It's a pretty simple list here. Uh, a plus, I guess you could just call that like elite, you know, uh, goat-like guitarist. A, I guess for, you know, basically they're just like an all-star guitarist. B, for pretty much, I guess, would be like they're good, but not quite like an all-star, I guess. And then like C, I guess, would be just be mediocre. And D would just be, well, trash. All right, looks like we have Brian May from Queen. A very, very, very gifted guitarist. He built his own guitar and everything. I don't know the name of it. I don't know what he calls it or anything. But he has a pretty original tone with it and everything. I love the design of it. Has a very unique style, very good feel to his play and everything. Plus that bushy hair is really cool. Also, he was in the band with one of the best, if not the best, rock singer ever, just really singer of all time, really, Freddie Mercury. So that really, really makes his playing just shine even more, really. Um I'm just gonna put him in A. I, I just I don't I don't think he's quite up there with like a Sinister Gates or anything. Sinister Gates is not on this list, so I'm just gonna mention him. He's my favorite guitar player of all time. Next is Slash. Well, that that's that's a really good one because he's my third favorite guitar player of all time. Guns N' Roses, Velvet Revolver, and he has his own project with Miles Kennedy of Alter Bridge uh, right now, and his playing throughout. All his projects and everything has always been really, really unique and really, really awesome. A lot of people don't think he's really all that great because he doesn't really shred, per se, all that much. But his feel and his pentatonic, you know, minor kind of uh, playing, I guess you could say, it's just the feel of it is just real, it's raw. And not to mention, it's just not all about the solos and the leads, too. He really writes really, really, really cool riffs. But uh, he, he goes into A+, plus. long story short. Because he's my third favorite of all time. And this is Jerry Garcia, I believe. Yes, that is him. Of uh, The Grateful Dead. I do not like The Grateful Dead. They are not a band I have ever gotten into. I've only really heard a few songs. Can't get into the singer. His guitar playing is solid, though. But I really can't fairly rate him. Because I haven't really heard really enough of his playing. Uh, I, I would just put him in the B. He sounds pretty good on the guitar. Angus Young, okay, of ACDC, the lead guitar player of ACDC. He is a very, very good guitar player. That's for damn sure. He can write some really, really cool solos, kind of like Slash, very bluesy, pentatonic scales. Very simple wrist, but very catchy. Some of the funnest wrists I've learned on the guitar, like High the Way to Hell and like Back in Black and Dirty Deeds and everything. I love playing those songs on the guitar. I'm going to put him uh, in the B category. He just doesn't blow me out of the water by any means, but he's definitely a good guitar player. David Bowie. I really never knew that he was a guitar player. I love his songwriting. He's a singer as well. I love his songwriting. I, I don't I don't really know what his guitar... I don't... what Like, does he write all the guitar in his songs or anything? Uh, I, I really don't know where to put him because I didn't know he played guitar. I mean, that that's maybe something I need to look into. That's really cool, though. I mean... I really don't know, so I guess I'll just throw him in and see, because I just don't really know. And this is Eric Clapton. Okay, uh, guitarist I'm not crazy familiar with. Sunshine of Your Love, that riff is one of the best riffs I ever heard. White Room is a really, really cool song, but it's, it's not really, doesn't really show off his guitar playing so much. It just shows off Cream's songwriting. But I, I really like uh, Layla, I like that riff. I'll, I'll put him in B. Ozzy, I, I guess they're just having Ozzy here just representing all his guitar players like Randy Rhodes and Jake E. Lee and Zach Wilde, which are all extremely talented guitarists. So if he's representing like any guitarist he's ever had, or Gus G from like Firewind, if he's, re if he's just representing like all of them that have ever existed in the band, I mean, or even Tony Iommi from Black Sabbath, I mean, they're all amazing. So let's just go down that road and put them in A+, because Randy Rhodes is an absolute genius listen to blizzard of oz um solos like mr crowley and everything like the two solos in that song are absolutely brilliantly written 
He doesn't miss a note at all. Uh, Crazy Train, of course, you know, just the whole song is absolutely amazing on the guitar. And, yeah, like, Goodbye to Romance. I mean, I mean, just, I could really go on. Jakey e. Lee, he did uh, Bark at the Moon. And a lot of good riffs, a lot of good soloing on that record. Uh, of course, Zach Wilde did so many albums with Ozzy, so many good riffs, so many good solos. Yeah, A-plus tier for Ozzy Allborn. Odd, Oddborn, is that what I said? Guitar players. Okay. And then Eddie Van Halen, rest in peace. He just passed away not too long ago, uh, succumb succumbing to cancer. Unfortunately, I believe it was throat cancer. Um, but yeah, this guy was an absolute genius. I mean, just go listen to Eruption, and that's all you need for him to go in to A+. That's that's all you really need, honestly. And this is Ace Freely of Kiss. I'm a big Kiss fan. I really think Kiss is a great band. I went to go see them in Vegas. Not with Ace Freely. It's with Tommy Thayer. But yeah, I mean, Ace Freely's playing is really good. It's not out of this world like anything crazy good. But it's definitely really cool to listen to, like, on the tonic scales that he plays and everything and just the way he goes about it. So, I'll put him in the B category. Not Nothing crazy, but, you know, I definitely appreciate his playing. Frank Zappa, probably going to get a lot of shit for this. I just never really listened to him. A lot of people have recommended that I should listen to Frank Zappa. I just never really got around to it. He just kind of go, we'll go and see. Buckethead, I've heard a little bit of his playing, um... Definitely really gifted guitar player. He played with Guns N' Roses for a little while, which was really cool. I don't think he ever really wrote anything with them that I'm aware of. But just from what I heard, I don't remember the names of any of his songs. I just kind of looked him up randomly on YouTube one day, and I'm like, this guy can really play. He's got some really, really, really over-the-top funny interviews where he doesn't talk. He just kind of hides under carpets and stuff. Anyway, uh, I put his playing in A. He, he's... Damn good player from what I've heard. Just really, really good technique. And I think that's all he ever does with his life is play guitar. And that's fine. He's damn good at it. So he should keep doing that. George Harrison of the Beatles. Um, I've never, I never became like a huge, huge Beatle fan. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have some really, really, really good songs and everything. I would, I would say his playing was solid. I mean, it wasn't anything like ever like really crazy good. But I mean, he's definitely like solid so i mean i'll put him in c i guess you know Ooh, enough of that d he's definitely better than trash and Jimi hendrix uh once again i mean i mean i've just never became like a absolute absolute phenomenal fan of him or anything like he's definitely got some really 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 good licks and and whatnot and i like a few of his songs like you know purple haze his cover of uh the hot that the wa water tower or watch or the uh, yeah, the the water tower, high tower one, whatever. But yeah, no, I really like his bends in that particular song. Um, yeah, whatever the name of it is. And this is Keith Richards. How is he still freaking alive? I should have said the same thing about Ozzy, really. Keith Richards of Rolling Stones. They have some really, really cool songs. I've never been really, like, absolutely blown away by the guitar playing. I mean, they have some good parts, but they're more of a singer-songwriter band to me. Um, so I'm just going to put him in C. He doesn't really do anything crazy to me, but... He's solid, for sure. And then Kurt Cobain of Nirvana, unfortunately, passed away years ago, succumbing to a shotgun wound that was self-inflicted. I think he did three albums with Nirvana. Never mind. I, that's the only album I ever listened to them from the beginning to the end, and I really enjoy that album a lot. And I think his guitar playing is solid. He definitely has a unique style. Again, it, you know, it doesn't really do anything, like, really incredible but we're just gonna put him in c um that's just where i feel comfortable with him and then we got jimmy page lead guitarist of the zeppelin all right i like this one a lot so we're to heaven of course you know one of my favorite solos of all time i really like his riffing in the ocean uh black dog i mean i could really go on about that uh, like i really like his riffs like this guy is just a riff genius and i'm gonna put him in honestly in a yeah, like, he he just, he, he belongs there, in my opinion. And the last guy, but not least, Joe freaking Perry of Aerosmith. Okay. One of the coolest looking guitarists of all time, I must say. He looks great for a guy that's probably pushing 70 or is already 70. That's besides the point. This is about his playing. And uh, really, again, kind of like Jimi Hendrix, I mean, not a lot of solos that really, really blow me out of the water, but his riffs were really... Really freaking cool. Sweet Emotion. I really like playing that on the guitar. Simple, but 
so freaking great. And Dream On, his playing in that is really, really good. Aerosmith is honestly one of those bands I really only know the hits, honestly. I don't really know their whole entire catalog, but I enjoy their hits at least. And I enjoy his playing. I will put him in B though. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know the drill. Subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you guys know when the next video is coming up. If you guys enjoyed this list, then recommend me some more lists you guys want me to comment on and arrange and whatnot. And if you guys have any cover suggestions for me or any reaction videos or if you want your video reacted to or your audio file, whatever, your lyric video reacted to, send me an email to my band's email down in the description down below and I will get around to that. If you guys have made it to this point, thank you so much. I really hope you guys continue to support the channel. It really means the world to me and I hope you guys have a really, really, really good day.